segment five, December 19th. Got Nick and Alex both coming up to hunt today. We're actually hunting together, which is pretty cool. It doesn't happen very often. Yeah, I'm super excited to, to get to see those guys and touch base. Me and Nick don't know what stand we're hunting, what blind we're hunting. We kind of got the wrong winds for everything, but uh, I'm gonna jump in the Ranger, run out back, and check a camera behind the house and see what's been on that. And if that looks promising, we might send one guy back here. If not, we might hunt together. I'm really not too sure. But yeah, we're gonna make a game plan and we're going hunting. Hopefully we can shoot a doe tonight would be the goal. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Check this card, see what's on here, and uh, make a game plan for tonight. It's snowing, it's cold, it's everything you need in Michigan to, to kill a deer, so it really just depends if something's showing up on this camera or not. If it's not, then we're heading to my farm. We're gonna probably risk hunting it with the wrong wind if this doesn't look very promising. So. Promising, so probably double up at the farm, either hunt together or split up. I think we got better odds splitting up. The problem there is, I guess it's not a problem, but ideally it's nice to hunt together. You get a camera guy and a hunter, and just if things happen, it happens a little easier. Where in this case, if we split up, we're both self filming, but our odds kind of increase uh, shooting something. So um, we'll wait for Nick to get here and we'll make a plan. Stay with us. Hopefully, we can shoot some. If not, hopefully, it's entertaining. There he is. What's up? Are you going to kill something? Yes. Someone what? kill something? Someone? We, we all suck this season, so we're going to go try to kill some does and make up for it. <laughs> What's up, man? Another day. Another day. Another day. Start to snow. I know. It feels like killing weather out there. Hopefully. I know. Hopefully. Alex, or, yeah, Alex is in the sweet spot today, so. Is you with Jerry? Yeah. Nice. Jerry's Thanks. farm? Yeah, they'll see a lot of deer. Sweet. Just whether or not they get one close enough. What'd you figure out? Pull uh, there's no deer back here. Okay. And uh, also, this, when I was driving back, there was like six people standing in that field. Oh, okay. So, so we're not out here. No, we're not out here. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just shooting my bow outside and I can hear tractors and I have no idea what they're doing, but they're just, it sounds like a demolition derby back there, so. Okay. So we're going to the farm and we got wrong the wrong wind for everything pretty much. But. So we're just going to go in there and pull everything out last signal. Last guy pushed for the Michigan season? Yeah. I just realized I was filming this guy the whole time I was talking. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we got the duo back together though. Last time we hunted together, we shot something. Yeah, just over a year just ago. Just saying. Just over just, a year Just ago. saying. <laughs> All right, let's get ready. Get rusty this time of year. Don't just go. Shoot your bow. Make sure you're dialed. Here we go. Here's that 40. I'm pretty happy with that.
it's December 19th. We're uh, up in the tree with my good buddy Jerry. Both got our bows, both got cameras, both got a lot of dough tags, so any dough that walks by is in big trouble. And uh, after this, we're gonna go to Tyler's house, meet up, probably have a couple beers, and hopefully if we got some doughs down, put some back straps on the grill, but I'm just gonna sit back and have a fun night with Jerry. But first, first food. First food. Alec has been in a tree for an hour. We're just getting subway. <laughs> oh. Oh. No, dude. It's one of the easiest hunts I've had in a long time. That's pretty uncommon. It, we, yeah, we got it like 340. We had a fawn come running through, got kicked out of the neighbors. 
ran like 15 yards, went 150 yards behind us, and all of a sudden Jerry's like, there's more. And like three more fonts started coming. I'm like, God dang. Like it was like 30 yards to come right through. And then the fourth one came, met up, and his neighbors got food plot out there. So they fed around there, then they went back in the woods. Well, all of a sudden more deer started moving around in these woods back there. It was like, there's deer coming. They just start pouring into this neighbor's food plot. And there's, I don't know, like eight to 10 of them. And they're just sitting there eating. It's like 5.30. I'm like, all right, we need to hurry up. He's like, they'll come through. I'm like, as soon as the first one starts coming, they're all just gonna come. Yeah. The first big one starts coming, I'm like, here we go. Like, dead end. I'm like, dude, you're making this too easy on me right now. I'm like, Jerry, you on it? like, yeah. He's like, she's a good one. I'm like, all right. She starts her bras on. Like, just smoked her. The arrow, I don't know if the knock flew out, but it looked like the arrow just skipped up in the air. And the arrow was like 30 yards behind where I shot her. Like in the ground, the knock was like a foot away from it. And yeah, she just ran out and she ate it in the field. And then she got up and she kind of like dragging her back a little bit and just flopped her back down. So you got her going down on video. Yeah. And then we called, yeah, Jerry got a hold of the neighbor. He's like, yeah, I'll bring the gator out. Brought the gator, drove right to her, threw in the gator, drove That's her into cool. our hay field where we parked, dropped her off, we walked back to the truck, dropped in the truck, drove right <laughs> out to her, easy. grabbed her, drove out, or threw her out, got her, and threw her stuff, and came here. That's, <laughs> awesome. here That's my kind of hunt. What did you see tonight, Nick? Oh, what I see? I saw the giant on Bentley's Manor Farms. Um, <laughs> Why'd you shoot him? <laughs> Thought you were doe hunting. Yeah, exactly. I was doe hunting. Tyler just has to be put in a spot where all these bucks come on by. It's just like, ah, oh, you know. Yeah, I almost had to shoot. I almost had to shoot when I was getting up and covered tonight. Bow was in hand. Thought about it. Oh, boy, going about that wax. Almost. They scared, those ones actually scared me. Oh, did they? Yeah. It was like six months I came in closer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got six points, you look pretty good over there. Yeah, six points for your ribs. You should have seen that. I mean, he had about, he had about a 12 inch width on him. He was a solid deer. He's scoring 46. Oh, that's getting a little bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> should have punched that. Nah, I got one left. I might as well use it. The season's about over. Pull the old Michigan Eagle Hunter Nation there. Yeah. I got to film both buck tags. Well, I did on those. <laughs> I tried. Shot big old slick head tonight. Uh, hunted with my good buddy Jerry, and I don't even know, I probably saw about 10 deer. And finally, about uh, 4 30, this big old slicky came in. We sent her to the freezer. <laughs> but, no, I had a good night. Honestly, it was an easy hunt. I haven't had one of those in a long time. So it was pretty cool coming back here to Tyler's house and hanging out with him and Matt and Nick and just celebrating the evening over a fresh kill.